back there, I'm looking for fame. I'ma treat you right as long as you let me. Look at Tony. Just popping in for today's video y'all we're doing a haul we're doing a Shein haul actually completely Shein I might have to mix in some bits and pieces from other places in there but primarily this is going to be a Shein haul y'all I just am really hoping it gives that's all I can say I'm hoping it gives this huge box of Shein clothes y'all massive so you know we got a lot to do so i just checked how much that i spent on this entire haul i got 38 items for 383 dollars and 22 cents and i had a coupon that like obviously they have coupons all over the place so i got like 80 dollars off because it was originally 400 and something dollars so not bad okay i don't want to waste y'all time so let's get straight into it we're gonna start with accessories i really like shein accessories because they're cheap and you can get a bunch and just kind of keep rebuying them for when you're actually ready to spend like coin on bracelets and jewelry and stuff i got some gold hoop earrings y'all know you just need some gold hoops for everyday use they're really pretty super super cute oh snap you get some that look like this they're not heavy like they're obviously cheap material because they're very lightweight i actually really like these hoops oh i really like these these are a bit heavier than all of the other ones the other ones feel very like you know cheap basically <laughs> and then i got these and those are the last pair so i think that's a pretty good value i also got these rings so this is one you get it has like little hearts in the band this is really cute it has like a yin yang sign on it and then i got this little ring this looks a little childish i'm not gonna lie and this one is giving like powerpuff girls but in a cute way i like that i like that one green is such a pretty color for fall and then you also get this one i've also been super into these this i don't know what these are called i really like these because they don't get dingy you can wear them in water and they're not gonna fall apart like any fake gold or fake silver rings would i'm not gonna show you guys each one but i will put some on my fingers these rings sometimes don't always fit my hand which is so annoying like this one I hate when it doesn't go all the way down to my knuckle. Shein, if you're gonna do a variety pack, you should do a variety of sizes in that pack. Like why would you set a pack that has all the same sizes of the rings, you know? One thing that I noticed when I first started ordering jewelry from Shein is that sometimes their earrings like will look like it's coming in a set, but it's actually just three individual earrings and you have to order it twice if you want it to be a matching set. I don't know why they do that. It's kind of weird. So I did end up ordering these earrings twice and I really just wanted these pretty mini gold hoops. They look so cute in my second haul. Oh wait, these are cute too. They also give you kind of the same version of that earring, but this one has like fake rhinestones. Can y'all see that? So I got these safety pin earrings. They actually look like safety pins. And you just pull this out, you put it in your ear and it dangles like this downwards. It's adorable. Next, y'all, I'm trying to get through these quick. I got these bracelets. They're the same material as the rings that I showed you earlier. Again, I'm just really into this. I don't know what to call this, acrylic material? Look at these, I, I the nude colors. They're so fall, I'm just obsessed. Y'all, I was like, no, I should have got more. <gasps> these are so cute. Aww. I love these. Okay, those are a hit. I'm a fan. Next, I got these pretty earrings that are like some basic hoops that have rhinestones and stuff in them. These look super expensive, so they will pair really nicely with some sort of date night outfit or something a little fancy, you know? I love them. And they're really giving diamonds. I like that. I got some more of these rings. I already have a bunch, <laughs> but I just needed some more. I just really like these rings. These are fall colors. I would say like the tones of these are very fall. These usually fit most of my fingers. I love how chunky they are. I feel like they look really pretty when I have nails on. Oh, look at the clear one. I love the clear one. That is freaking cute. Look at that. 
I'm very much so into these acrylic rings, y'all. Like, they're just my thing right now. So the last jewelry item I got was just this other set of gold rings. Very basic, more like a layering item. Oh, that's super cute on my hand. I really like that. And then you get one that looks like this, which kind of gives like a stacked look. That also fits on that hand. I'm gonna keep these ones on for the try on haul. Oh, that's pretty cute. It, actually, that's, that's very cute. I like that a lot. Hmm. This set is exactly how I like gold rings to look. Not too much detail, able to layer it. Very minimalistic. I like, I like, perfect. Okay, see, this is what I like Shein to do. Provide multiple sizes so I can put them on all of my fingers. Like, why are y'all limiting me? This is super cute. Do y'all see the texture on it? Reminds me of like something the Spartans would wear, giving very much gladiator. Oh, it's broken though. Shit. Look at that. It's broken right in the middle. Y'all see that? That could be something I could fix, but also I'm probably not going to. I have this last one. Very simple. Look at that. That's super cute. I really, really like. The last accessory item we got are glasses that I actually already had. I just lost them, can't find them anywhere. But y'all know this is like that tortoise shell print, or maybe this is cheetah. I don't know. I love these. Like, I love the pattern. I love it all. I just think they're super cute, very sultry. I love how dark they are. I love things that make me look unapproachable and I feel like these glasses do that, so. And now we can get into what y'all really came here for, which is the clothing. I am gonna be styling each piece exactly how I would wear it because I'm really trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear to San Diego, so I actually need to style these. Hopefully everything fits, everything's cute. I'm really just crossing my fingers that Shein does not play me. Um, and we're just gonna do what it do. So, all right, y'all, let's get into it. All right, y'all, so right off the bat, first fit is a banger. First of all, I just had dinner, and you know, the food baby might, she might be out. She might be out to play, but honestly, come on, don't play with me. Do not play with me. I'm really not one of them, like I'm not a simple one. Everything looks great, y'all. Look at the, look at the body. So I paired it with either my Brandon Blackwood and Systemic Racism bag or my Louis Vuitton Neo Noé bag. These heels from Pretty Little Thing. Y'all, this is giving date night for sure. Like, I'm dating. This is a, like, I go out and I date men, for real. This material is thick. Like, it'll keep you warm in the winter type. And you can wear it lower if you want it to like be super duper low. You can bring it a little higher and it doesn't look weird either way. What do y'all think? This or this? With the slit, honey. Period. This is the next fit. I love the way that I styled this. The top and the jeans are from Shein. These jeans I did up to a size eight because I did buy them previously and they were tight on the thighs and like kind of weird fitting up here so I got a bigger size and they pretty much fit they are a little bit gappy but I actually wanted these to fit very loose so I don't mind the y'all look at the girls look at the girls when you get it it's kind of like a long string that has that are like stitched together in the back so you put that part on your back you pull these tabs down and then you wrap this around to hold these tabs here so super super cute and then i paired them with my nike um air forces Fontanka version i think that's how you say it and again my louis bag because it goes perfectly with the shoes if you don't tie it tight enough then you know your girls might slip and slide some places but i feel pretty secure in it like i love that it has this slit here and then it has the matching slit in the back. You can also toss on a denim jacket. I would probably do something like this. The jacket isn't the exact same wash as the jeans, but I feel like it's close enough to still look very like cool street, you know? Not like street, that sounds so corny, but y'all know like street wear, basically street fashion. The material of this is like a knit material, not super thick, not too, not too um, thin either. And the jeans are very lightweight. Yeah, this is a vibe. This is a vibe. I feel like this is a good transitional outfit from like fall, from like summer into fall. Obviously not fall into winter. Love it. 
on to the next. So this is outfit number three. I need to stop doing the numbers because I'm gonna forget after. But this is the next outfit. You know what? I like this. I do. I like this. It's funny because I bought this top before I bought these shoes and then I realized that these would go perfectly together because I was going through my closet and I was like, what the hell am I going to wear with this yellow top? My new yellow J's. Come on now. This is kind of out of my comfort zone. I wouldn't normally go for a top like this. You know what's funny? The reason I don't wear things that have a collar like this is because of the, of the Bad Girls Club reunion. When freaking, I don't know who it was. I'm going to insert the clip if I can find it. She was like, not you having a dress with a collar. Girl, sit down with that body shop dress on. Why your dress got a collar? It don't matter. Why your dress got a collar? What? And it was just the biggest read of my life. And I never saw collars the same after. So I paired it with the same jeans that I had on previously with that green top. And then I have these two bags. I kind of like the gold if I'm being honest, but I also have my other's and systemic racism bag that's like in the wax denim print, and it really does go like perfectly with these jeans. The only thing I don't love is that it seems like it's a little bit big here, but maybe if I wash and dry it, it'll it'll shrink up a little bit. But this top is like a knitted material, similar to the green shirt. It's that same kind of knitted crochet material, super soft, no holes. The only real issue is that it looks like somebody tried it on and stretched it out a little bit how y'all how y'all feel about this that just goes in a halter in the back i like <sighs> all right y'all so i would say that this outfit is our first kind of fail the pants suck and let me not say suck they just fit very awkward like i'm not even mad at this it's the length. Like, y'all see, I'm only 5'3". Why are they flooded on me? I don't like this. Maybe this is the style I was going for. I'm just not into it. I'm not really into it. However, this sweater, so freaking soft, guys. So soft, thick. Like, I'm hot. It's thick. It's, it's that good, good material. And it's not even see-through. It's not see-through at all. I don't have a bra on. And y'all can't see a gosh darn thing. I recommend this sweater. This sweater is the perfect layering item. Like, come on now. It is so nice. The potential of this sweater. I love a long sleeved, full body sweater, like not cropped, just like this. You could just wear it with anything. It goes with anything. I just paired it with these shoes from ASOS and this bag from Aldo. This is giving like casual dinner, you know? not Nothing too serious. And it actually fits like to the body. And it's not flattening my booty really. I do not like the bunching, but you know, sometimes it just comes with the territory. The sweater, however, I highly recommend. This is this is a winter sweater. Like you could actually get away with wearing this in the winter time. I mean, maybe the length isn't that bad. But these are short heels. With high heels, like this is not this is gonna look crazy. Alright, y'all. So these are the next items that we have. Um I wouldn't call this a fail, but this jacket is way more oversized than I originally thought it was going to be. I wanted it as like a leather blazer that I could layer with other items. So this might also be going back, but I thought it would look really cute in this dress form. And it's actually a very nice, it's a nice leather blazer. Like I'm not mad at it. It's well sewn. The buttons are all on there. And I just paired it with my Marc Jacobs tote bag. And these shoes from Shein, I hate these shoes, would not recommend them. The toe thong hurts like a biatch. And these thing that's supposed to be holding them up keeps sliding down. They're not practical, in my opinion. And nobody on these Shein hauls told me that. I've been walking in them for 30 seconds and my the space between my big toe and my second toe is screaming like shouting, shouting. The dogs is barking, but honestly, this outfit is still really cute. What do y'all think about this? This is what the material is looking like. I guess if I were to buy this again or reorder it, I just have to go like a size down because just look at how long the sleeves are. I mean, at least they're not short, but dang. Even as a dress, it's a little big. Like a four would probably even fit like a little bit sexier as a dress. It's looking a little boxy right now, but these are the pants that I was literally excited the most about and they don't freaking fit. I don't. I'm so lost, like I can't even try to button them because I will really suffocate myself. I got these in a size six. I read the comments, nobody said that they ran 
small it's fine i'm gonna reorder these because these are exactly what i've been looking for i've been looking for some nice corduroy cargo pants in this exact color they don't really have a lot of stretch so that's probably what it is like yeah i can't even begin i also got this sweater from shein it's the exact same sweater as the black one that y'all saw previously y'all know if i like something i get it in two colors okay period it's really nice the material is beautiful i love and the pants oh my gosh these would have been so freaking cute all right y'all this is the next outfit and i actually really really like this regardless of the fact that this jacket the button popped off right when i put the, like right when i started to put the thing on that button was ready to go honey she clocked out they did give me replacement buttons for it as if they knew that their quality was shit on this love the length of the sleeves i love this it like crisscrosses so you button it on the inside here and then you crisscross it so that it ties in the back lightweight enough to wear it in the summer like fall you know but it's not thick enough to wear it in the winter for surely like this isn't gonna work for winter time i also got these denim like um you know those black coated or denim coated jegging y'all everybody said to size down on these so i got a size four instead of a size six and when i was putting them on i was like oh y'all keep y'all keep leading me astray but then i pulled them up and i was like oh i see why y'all said to size down these are sucking man suck socks these are actually really really nice like i feel super skinny and i just paired it with my aldo bag again and those same raggedy heels i got from shein just to keep it as shein as possible and then putting on my gucci sunglasses i mean are you getting the fantasy or is it just me i think this fit is a banger but yeah and the material on the jacket is like a linen material and these jeggings y'all like oh y'all i think i just ripped the other oh, i just ripped the other button off these buttons suck so if you don't know how to sew if y'all don't know how to sew then you probably won't want to get this because you're gonna have to re-sew these buttons on realistically and it has shoulder pads y'all like definitely distinguishable shoulder pads i could also wear this with like a mini skirt and some thigh high boots honey honey don't play with me do not play with me how do y'all like my sunglasses i love these all right y'all this is the next fit and i'm feeling very much so winter wonderland in this i'm so into this brown variations of brown i have on those same denim coated uh leggings from earlier these boots are from shop akira i got them on sale for 20 dollars and i paired it with my louis bag and my shein stunners Baby girl, talk to me real, real nice. Hey, talk to me real, real nice. Because you're talking about the side of your neck right now. This sweater is definitely my type of sweater. I don't buy a lot of sweaters because I feel like I just lose interest in sweaters very often. But this is super cute and it's dead, like it's thick, honey. This is real, real material, like sweater material. And it's not itchy. I'm really getting hot in this. I look like somebody's rich auntie, which I am. I am somebody's rich auntie. I mean, not rich yet, but I'm somebody's aspiring to be rich auntie, honey. So I need to start playing the role. Wear it like this, and it's giving more, you know, bad bitch ass fat, 20 inch wig, yours came in a pack. That's what it's giving right now, so. Y'all hear that? That's how you know it's denim coated, baby. You need to make that swishing noise. All right, y'all, this is the next fit. It's really just the jacket that's new. So that long sleeved sweater top that I said was amazing. Same jeggings and then these boots from ASOS that I actually hauled in one of my other hauls. So go and watch that. I love the tiger stripes and these buttons. Love it, but you guys know she and jackets are very much so hit or miss. And I feel like this is half hit, half miss. The way it looks is a hit, but the, the structure of it is definitely a miss. This is not gonna keep you warm. The sleeves are a cool length, but it's just, it's thin. And I thought this was gonna be more of like a coat material. And even though I live in California, so like when am I ever gonna need a coat? Doesn't matter. This isn't the vision that I had for this jacket. And also y'all, it ain't got no freaking pockets. Yo, Shein, is it really that serious to put some pockets in a jacket? I need, I need pockets in my jackets, for real, for real it's not really even negotiable like i need 
pockets? Where am I supposed to put my hands when I'm doing like a walk and I'm strutting? I'm supposed to just like, that's freaking boring. And I also just don't feel like the shape of it is the most flattering thing on me. I used to really love oversized stuff like this, but this is just like the sleeves are a little too oversized for me. I just don't think that it's for me, but it could be for you, it could be. I love the buttons. I love the color. I'm really into this nude brown situation happening here. It just doesn't, like this jacket doesn't really make much sense. No pockets and it's thin. Maybe I need to start thinking about when they say oversized, they dead ass mean like it's gonna be over your size. Like, All right y'all, this is the next fit and I can't even front. The fit is cute. Like the pairing, this with this, and the way this is like sitting on my waist and the bag and the shoes, it's a very cute outfit, but Y'all, I can't do, I can't do these friggin' Urkel ass pants. Like, what's happening? If they're pants, make them pants. If they're culottes, make them culottes. And distinguish that inside of the description, she in. Like, I need to know what I'm getting. Hold on, I might keep these pants. I was gonna return. But I don't think you can actually see, see through them. Can you see through them? Huh. Okay, hold on. I might have to take it back. Maybe this length, maybe I just need to iron them out because they are extremely wrinkled on the bottom. I got this bag from ASOS. I hauled it in one of my hauls. So go see that one. And I also got these shoes from ASOS a little bit ago. Y'all, and this bodysuit is from Shein actually. I also hauled this in one of my previous hauls. So go watch that if you want the link. I'm, I'm feeling these pants now. They are giving me body, honey. Look at my waist and then look at my hips. Wow. The fabric of this? It's not denim, it's like, let me unbutton it so y'all can see. And I love this button, look at the look at the button. This is a very cute button. It's stretchy, like, it's like, a, it's like a cotton. It feels so soft. It fits like a mother-loving glovin, honey. It fits like a mother-loving glovin. This button is gonna come off, y'all, look. Y'all, I cannot make this up. These Shein buttons, are absolutely atrocious. It's like y'all not even sewing them on at this point. At least you guys got to see it with the button still on because I feel like she finna fall out. But it has like a paisley print on the pants. These would be so cute in the summertime, even with something more cropped. There's no gapping. She is, she's locked and loaded. I love this. <laughs> wow, I can't believe my mind changed from the beginning. I love this outfit. With all the accessories and the gold, how are y'all feeling so far? I feel like I did really good in this haul. Like, I got some good stuff. Right? I think I did. So this is the next outfit. I'm low-key upset because I feel like this would have been super cute together. Oh, this would have been really cute for like a daytime outfit in San Diego. They do not fit. And look at my, like, they actually got me cake in low-key. How do y'all do this? Is it like this? Is it like this? The print is so nice, but the construction on these pants, even if they did fit, it just looks a little crazy. It looks like it would rip really easily. It looks very like mosaic, very geisha-ish. But if y'all are into them, definitely size up. I got these in a size six, so, and I'm 5'3", and this is the length. Huh, it's unfortunate, but we move. So basically, none of the pants fit is what I'm is what I'm getting. Usually a size six fits out of all the pants that haven't fit so far. These like, I can't even pull them barely past my butt. Like, I can't even pull them up. These pants are so cool. I love them. I really wanted some cool, quirky pants to add to my closet. I might just have to reorder these. These are so cute. If they fit, oh, I wanna set it off. But again, y'all, I haven't even pulled these all the way up and they're already like a little bit flooded on my on my ankle. What is that about? Why is she making all these short little pants? It's all right, if you're into these, definitely size up. I don't even think this has anything to do with my nyash. This is just, cause they're tight here too. Like I can't even pull them past my thighs. But the construction of them is actually pretty damn good. Like. I don't see any threads missing. Everything looks really well sewn. Look at the faces they have on them. It's just so cool. I wanna walk around with women on my booty and the B Blackwood bag. 
<sighs> Y'all don't want to see me be great. She didn't want me to be great. Hold on. I've been so disappointed by the pants. I really just am assuming that nothing will fit. But these are so freaking cool. And look at the length. Shein, this is the length that we need with heels on. That's where it should hit. Halfway, midway through my heel. This is giving. The pants are mega high-waisted, mega high-waisted. Almost too high-waisted because I don't have that much torso, so it is cutting me off like to the point where it looks like I don't have a torso at all. This leg is so flattering on me. I'm sick, these are freaking cute. I love that it's cuffed at the bottom, y'all, and the construction, like, it's good. It's like a clasp, so, you know, it's really sitting like streamlined. I love how streamlined and seamless this looks. I can imagine myself wearing this with like, a, like a crop sweater if it's cold outside because this is like a light um not denim like i don't even know what to call this material like a waxy material still really soft and super comfortable a real pocket a pocket uh -uh. why must i beg for pockets you can even wear these types of pants with sneakers and make it very street. How did I find these pants? These are bomb. It's not the absolute most flattering from the side because this does, I mean, I don't know if this is, this might just be my stomach, honey. There's no stretch in these pants, by the way. Like, if these were any tighter, I wouldn't have been able to put them on. Obsessed, pockets. Don't play with my pocket space. That's all I gotta say to you. Okay, I'm giving the girls casual. I'm giving the girls BBL? BBL? Question mark? No, honey. This is just eating too much and exercising too little. First of all, the color. <clears throat> Y'all know I live for a good nude. Like, this nude is like an oatmeal. Mm, just nude. This is exactly how I'd wear it. I'd pair it with some sneakers. These are my Air Max 270 ENGs. This is my like on the go bag, my Marc Jacobs tote bag. And honey, she's giving, she's giving. It comes with padding in the boob area. I always take the padding out because it's just doing so much. Like why are they so lifted on a casual day? These, this section here, pulling them up a little high. It's the section for me. Look at, look at that weight, look at that silhouette. No, look at my silhouette though. I need to get this in every single color. This is the best workout set I've ever worn in my life. I feel extremely attractive in this workout set. I'm looking at it like, is this what my body looks like? If y'all don't get anything, it's this one. Invest your coins in this and throw on my denim. Let me get a denim jacket and show y'all. So I thrifted this denim jacket, but it's a Hollister jacket. If it's like a little chilly outside, throw on a nice denim jacket and be on my way. Super freaking cute. Wow. Oh, I'm feeling myself a little too hard. Let me take this thing off, child. I don't know how to fully express my love for this freaking outfit right now. It's really fulfilling my fantasy of being a Pinterest girl. Like, this is giving Pinterest. These pants? Let's, let's start with the pants, honey, because let me put this down, child. These pants? Do y'all see that? No, do y'all see that? I love these pants. And I know you're probably thinking, I just wait until now. Hold on, hold on. Y'all, this ruching is real. And you can lift up your, look at, I just changed the length of the pants. Look at that. From this to this. Just by simply, I'm getting these pants in every color. The waistband is freaking elastic and it still has a clasp. Look at that, clasp. Roll down, zip up, clasp in. I'm sick to my stomach. I got this cool little t-shirt from Shein too, hold on. Let me do the thing where they like tuck it in the back and they just let it fall like that. <laughs> oh y'all, y'all, I'm really keeping up with the trends right now. I paired it with this purse that I got from ASOS, but they have a bunch of these types of purses on Shein as well. And then I paired it with my Air Maxes. Guys, 
Hold on. Let me get closer. It definitely feels like it was just printed on. Like this is giving stiff. It has like the drop shoulder so the sleeve doesn't start till here. And I'm feeling it. I'm really digging it. I look like one of the London babes. Hey, yeah, excuse me, pardon. This might be my favorite outfit so far. You can wear this with heels if you wanted to get like fancy. You can wear some heels with this, a nice like cropped top, a bodysuit, and be giving fantasy. California love. That's how I feel. I feel like I belong in the 90s with this fit. Like, hey. Mm -mm 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 I was looking for me. I was like, you know what? Let me show the girls how you can wear these type of cargo, you know, casual pants and dress them up. This is also real ruching. I didn't mention that before, but all the ruching on these is real. And y'all know how I feel about some real ruching. That is some sexy shit. This is hot. Like, this is hot girl. Y'all, y'all hear me? This is hot girl. I just paired it with my Brandon Blackwood bag and those same little nude heels that I keep wearing. I love the pairing of like the super kind of scandalous top and the very full coverage pants. Usually, you don't want a super revealing top and a super revealing bottom out as well, like choose one. You want to reveal the top, you want to reveal the bottom. But also do what you want, it's your life. I'm just saying that usually to provide balance to a fit, it's better to have it that way because sometimes you just look crazy if you're like fully just naked essentially on the street. But live your life, sis. I have these like vintage-y looking Gucci sunglasses. I would for sure pair them with this. And I would just serve the girls what they were asking for. Serve y'all dinner. Serve y'all breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And this is such an easy way to switch up an outfit too. Like if you don't wanna pack a bag, but you want your outfit to look different from day to night, you can wear it with a t-shirt during the day, pop this little crop on with a pair of heels, and you're nighttime ready. And nobody will clock you. You can't be clocked, it's unclockable. All right, y'all, so this is the next outfit. I don't even remember buying this top, honestly, but I do remember buying these pants, and they fit, y'all. They're the perfect fit on the waist, giving booty like the girls requested. Come on now, cake Kiana. And it actually doesn't look that bad with this top. I probably wouldn't wear it together because I feel like where the top falls and the pants fall, is making me look a little bit boxy. I have it with this Aldo, white Aldo bag and these shoes that I got from ASOS. And I feel like they fall at an okay length. They're not as long as I would have liked them to be. But you know, at this point, I guess beggars just can't be choosers. One thing that's really bothering me is this clasp. I hate that it looks like this. It's just not lying flat. It needs to be lying flat like that. And right now it's giving gap. No pockets, but that's all right. I finally mastered how to do this turn thing, y'all. I think I get it now. This top is like a, um, it's kind of like a furry, I don't know, what do they call this? A chenille fabric? It's really soft. It's actually very comfortable. Usually this fabric can be kind of itchy, but it's not. It would probably be more flattering on me in particular if the sleeves were like this. They're just so wide. But it is a good layering item just to have with like some high-waisted jeans, some pants toss on a jacket very casual if you're looking for interesting pants definitely click on these links because these are pretty cool i scoured shein's website to find cool like different types of pants i went through literally each of the 40 pages <laughs> because i'm crazy look into the other pants even though they didn't fit me they may fit you so definitely don't take my exact word on the sizing because it could just be my body type i'm like borderline a size six size eight like i'm a six because when I buy an eight, things are too big usually, but I sometimes miss size eight, you know what I mean? So, do with that what you will. I also got this jacket. I'm gonna return this because the material inside is not soft at all. There's like, there's no lining really. There's nothing in here, basically. Like, it's giving a little scratchy. I don't really like how it feels on my skin. So she's getting returned, but I just wanted to quickly show y'all. I don't wanna like go through the whole process of styling it because I'm not gonna keep it, so. All right, y'all, this is the next outfit and I'm so upset because I freaking love this, but it has a hole. The color is so cute. I paired it with those same little you know, basic heels, my Louis bag, have my accessories on. The neck is a little itchy, 
I can imagine that like getting probably a little bit annoying. I don't know if I would even repurchase this despite me loving the fit. It is a little itchy, like it's a little uncomfortable. This is from their Motif, what is it? MLTF collection. You know the more expensive, like higher quality Shein items? Yeah, but this is giving higher quality. It's a thick sweater material for sure. The shirt is a full shirt, so you could like you could wear this with some really cute blue denim, like high-waisted jeans and some boots or like heels. And it still has a really nice silhouette. Like it's still really hugging my frame. The hole is just, I mean, it's not noticeable from that angle on camera, but if I come closer, honey, y'all can see that hole right there. I think I'm gonna repurchase this, y'all. I can't let this one go. This is so cute. And these are actual like adjustable strings. Like when you tie them, it actually makes it tighter. So that's nice. You can kind of customize the waist. This Louis bag, she's giving what the girls asked for this fall. She is. All right, y'all, this is the next fit. And I mean, I don't even really need to say much about this, do I? Like, she's just giving casual, cute, body yaddy yaddy. It's only a little bit see-through, like very, very minimally see-through. And I think it's really only on the, like the panties. And I just paired it with my tote bag because realistically, this is what I'd wear it with. I have on these sandals that I got from Shein. They have like a little toe thong and some crystals and stuff. This is something I would wear to like run errands, the beach. I'm not trying hard because it's a matching set, but also I want you to see what the Lord has given me. Yo baby, trying to give them to you. This is really the best haul I've ever done, ever. Like ever. Look at this chocolate brown Hershey Kiss moment. No, but like take a really good look. Like actually look. Do I not look wealthy? Let me stop, I'm gassing it. This is some knit material, so freaking soft. Soft and figure hugging, like stretchy as hell, but she clings. You see how she, you see the bounce back? She wants to cling to your skin. She's attracted to that melanin, honey. Get into this dress, and I'm not even playing around with you. Y'all see how I'm making eye contact? Get into this dress on some real shit. Look at how it flows at my legs when I walk. I love that it's so wide and like, I feel like a goddess. I feel like an angel. Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? What did you say? I can't hear you. I can't hear you over the brokenness. I can't hear you over my Shein outfit. And we're giving rich auntie. I don't know what other outfit I said I was giving rich auntie, but I'm actually really giving rich auntie right now. Wait, let me show y'all it without the sleeve. And you have a sundress. I wouldn't even dare wear this just to like go run errands. Yeah, sure am. Sure am. I don't even know what you're saying over there watching me, but sure am. I sure do look good. If I'm eating, maybe this isn't the dress for me because I need to be careful. It's the last item of the haul and it's not like we ended with peace. We started war with this dress. I mean, I started a fire with this dress. Like, I'm setting the whole Badlands on fire in this dress, y'all. This isn't even a dress. This is technically a cardigan. And the material is that thick knit material. Yo, she is doing it with this material, okay? This is thick, thick and heavy. Like, this dress is actually itself quite heavy. I love the fringe at the bottom. I love the length. On the Shein website, they layered it with like a turtleneck underneath and had this on top buttoned up. I thought that was a super cute look for winter time. Like, I think, I think, I think that this is it. I paired it with my Louis bag and with those same sandals from Shein. I also wanted to see what it would look like with a belt. So hold on. It definitely adds to the waist. I don't hate this, actually. I don't hate it with the belt. I do feel like the more you walk, the more it's gonna like do 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 do, do you know, and just widen up. So I probably tape it so that's like this. All right, y'all, that is the end of my Shein haul. I mean, I mean, why do I even surprise myself at this point? I am a stylist. Like y'all should hire me to style y'all. Make sure you let me know what outfit was your favorite. Which one was giving you the feels, and which ones were you not really feeling? Like even if it's ones that I liked, let me know. I feel like it was the pants mainly that weren't really giving, but everything else was hitting. They were hitting the shape. They were really curving me correctly. They were 
Wow. Definitely check out these items. Everything will be linked in the description box with my sizes as well. Make sure that you comment on this video. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and make sure you like this video, okay? To let me know that you're enjoying my content and that y'all want me to post. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.